We do have some more plans uh, for this front splitter on my car. Uh, just. Uh, What's up guys, it's Clay here with Varus Engineering. Today what I have planned is I'm going to be switching from our street front splitter kit, which you can see I already have pulled off here, to our composite adjustable unit. The main reason I'm switching to uh, the composite adjustable unit is because I'm going to be running a larger rear wing here soon, so I'm gonna to try to balance that out as much as possible. And let's get on with the install. All right, so first things first, let's go over what you're gonna get with uh, the composite front splitter. You are gonna get the composite splitter blade. Um, here, we are actually kind of out of stock of these right now, but you will get two of the smaller extensions as well as a larger two inch extension as well. So there should be four of those total. You're going to have a total of seven splitter rods. I have two already on there for my old kit, so I don't have that many out here. You're gonna get six splitter rod extensions. These are 25 millimeters. Um, so that's gonna extend those about an inch. You will get 10 clevises and then an assortment of hardware. And I will put that bomb up here uh, so you have uh, an idea of what hardware comes with the kit. Looking over it, I did forget to tell you guys one thing. You will also get four. Um, so you'll have two mirroring pieces of uh, crash beam brackets to mount those support rods. All right, the tools needed for this install. Um, obviously jack stands are a jack. If you have a lift like I do, it does make the install a little bit easier. Um, screwdrivers, you're going to need a 10 millimeter socket with a ratchet, a 532nd Allen wrench, a 564th Allen wrench, and then you're going to need a smaller uh, 516th wall socket, um, a 3 8 wrench, a 716 wrench, a drill with a quarter inch drill bit along with a uh, pilot drill bit, so about an eighth inch there. You're gonna need a tape measure, um, a two inch hole saw, some touch up paint if you have it, as well as a center punch to start those holes. All right, so first step, we're going to remove this radiator support bracket or tray, whatever you wanna call it. Um, there's gonna be three 10 millimeter bolts that we need to remove, and there's gonna be some push pins as well, and we will remove this black cover. Okay, so for this install, guys, we are going to need to remove the front bumper. Um, I'm running our end plates, so I don't have the push clips in here, but you will have three push pins in here as well as one up here on uh, your side markers. I am also running the side markers, so I don't have to worry about removing those. But if you have the regular side markers, you will need to remove those completely. And then up top here, I've already taken a couple of the bolts off, but you have some bolts and you have some push pins here. And then once you get all that off, you should be able to completely remove the bumper. All right, now with the front bumper off, it's gonna be time to start installing the splitter components. Um, at this point, you will want to decide what extensions you're going to run. And as I said earlier, unfortunately, all I have right now is the one inch extensions. I'm waiting on the two inch and then I'll extend it farther, but today I'm gonna to settle with the one inch extension. So you're going to use your small little black flathead with your uh, nylock nut here. Um, the flathead goes on top, nut goes on bottom, and it attaches just like that. Next step of the install, after you have uh, the extensions put on to your splitter, it's time to install the race upgrade brackets. This is the same install that's from our street front splitter as well as the race upgrade. Um, I will pop that video in now. All right, now once the front bumper is removed, you're gonna wanna use a center punch or a tap um, to get into your craft screen just to start it for your drill bit to make it a little bit easier. Now, since you already have your little hole punches in there, we definitely recommend this just to help the drill bit be started. You're gonna to wanna to use a starter drill bit, um, smaller than the quarter inch, just to help you get started and make the process a little bit easier. And as I was not doing there, please wear some eye protection. Um, we have already test fit the bumper to make sure the brackets will clear the front grill. Um, obviously the BRZ and the FRS are a little bit different, so you just wanna make sure they fit. Now we have taken the bumper back off and we're gonna install our brackets now in our holes that we drilled. 
All right, now, so once you have the brackets installed, you wanna just make sure that you do have a little bit of wiggle room right there, and then you're actually gonna put the bumper back on, and then we'll tighten these at that point. All right, guys, so when you are getting ready to install your support rods, um, there is gonna be a left and a right-hand thread. Um, so what I have figured out, um, P0001B is your right-hand thread, and then the OP002B is gonna be your left-hand thread. So as you can see here, we have attached the support rods and you're gonna wanna attach these first before you tighten um, the brackets as Eric is doing right now. And as you can tell on the BRZ, you're gonna want um, these brackets, one on each side of one of these little, um, I don't even know what you call them, but part of the grill, one on each side. Um, if you are an FRS owner, um, you do have a little bit more of a honeycomb, so you can either go each side of the honeycomb or you can go right in between it, whichever way you want to go. So for the rearmost uh, locations, you're going to want to grab your support rod and then you're going to stack three of the 25 millimeter extensions on top of that. You'll do with that with two of these and we'll use these for the outermost locations. All right, now um, we're going to install the clevis. Um, you're going to take a 16 millimeter, a washer, and then I just installed the driver's side, so I'm over here on the passenger side. You're going to use this outermost point um, right here and install your clevis. Using one of the medium sized button heads, a small 12 millimeter washer, and a nut, we will install our support rods. Don't tighten these completely down right now, just hand tight. Um, we'll tighten these down here after a bit. It's time to install um, the second set of clevises. So basically what you're going to want to do is hold the splitter up. If you have uh, the factory uh, core support here, if you have an aftermarket one, you might have to do um, a little bit of work there on your own to figure that out. I'm gonna count four spaces in, and that is where I'm gonna drill and mount my clevis. Um, you're gonna do this by using a center punch to start it, a starter drill bit, and then you're gonna bump up to the larger drill bit. All right, so there is my clevis installed. It's mirrored on the other side. Um, so again, you'll use your 16 millimeter button head uh, with the 18 millimeter washer, slide that through, and then we'll tighten these. Um, and then we can use the support rods here. Okay, now, so what we recommend is installing um, the two most front uh, support rods, and you already have the rear most installed. We're going to temporary install, temporarily install the splitter, um, just using these four points to make holes um, for the new ones. And now I have the splitter installed. So basically what I did, I installed all the clevises using your 16 millimeter and one of the large diameter washers. Um, something just to take note, um, these side ones, you will not want them straight. You will want them kind of at an angle so it matches up here. Um, so just do those hand tight for right now. You can tighten those down later. And uh, once the splitter is mounted for a test fit, we'll move on to the next step. Here is the splitter installed. Um, on this rearmost location, Eric just pointed out that it makes it a lot easier um, to kind of adjust your support rods here. So you want to use a couple spacers here as you see fit. Um, use your longest uh, M6 bolt here with the nut here on the top side, and there's your mock-up. All right, so once you have the splitter installed, what you're gonna wanna do is put your uh, little radiator support bracket back here, tray, whatever you wanna call that, and then you're gonna use your two-inch hole saw. As you can see, this clevis is trapped underneath here. We want to drill a hole kind of in between this clevis and this clevis so the support rod can go through it. All right, so there is my hole drilled. Um, so that support rod can go from this clevis directly through that clevis. So I actually just took some scissors. Obviously this is gonna be pulled forward a little bit, but I went ahead and just cut off the whole corner. I'm not as finesseful as a lot of people, that doesn't bother me, but if you're wanting to cut out an exact square, exact circle there, um, feel free to do that. But for me, this works just fine. Now once you get the fender liners trimmed, it is now time um, to level the splitter. Um, I'm on a rack with no tires on it, so I'm gonna do the best I can right now and I can level it at a later point. But you want this splitter 
as level with the ground as possible or if you want to run a little bit of rake that is fine too but you do not want the splitter angled upward either level or down at a slight rake is where you want it to be all right so i've got the splitter i've got all six support rods installed i've got it as level as i possibly can right now with the car being up on a lift um, so at this point what you'll want to do is these the higher up uh, clevises brackets you want to make sure everything's tight at this point also you want to make sure that your support rods aren't going to change distances once you have to take the splitter back off to put the bumper on um, so make sure you tighten these so they don't change distances and now it's time to put the bumper on in reverse order all right i want to give you guys just a quick walk around here there is the composite splitter at the five inch extensions um, like I said earlier, I am waiting on that second two piece to come in since we're out of stock and then I can put my end plates back on. But there she is all installed. If you have any questions about the install, please shoot us an email. Um, we do have an install manual available as well. So if you can't figure it out there, we're always happy to help. One other thing that uh, I would like to mention, once I did finally get the bumper back on and the splitter back up, that middle uh, clevis on each side, I was touching the bumper a little bit. So you might have to trim the bumper a little bit to get those clevises to sit flushly. Um, not a big deal there, you're not really gonna see it. So uh, just something to think about. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about the install, like I said earlier, please give us a call, shoot us an email. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, like us on Facebook as well as Instagram, and until next time.